Hello, YouTube. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. So I'm about to make a, such a delicious meal tonight. And I was like, oh my goodness. I really hope that I could go live with this. So I'm going to create basically a whole meal out of cauliflower, um, except I'll add a salad to it. All right, so what I'm going to be making today is cauliflower fried chicken and cauliflower baked macaroni and cheese. So let me show you what I got already. In here is a quarter cup of flaxseed, and I know those sound that great, but it's really gonna help the chicken to fry well, and some hot sauce in here and some honey Dijon mustard. That is for my wet dip because I my cauliflower is going to need something to stick to. Then in here, I got my flour in here. I also have my seasonings. I have my garlic powder. I have my um, Lowry's. I have pepper and I have my Cezanne complete in here. All right, I've cut the cauliflower like sort of in the shape of chicken washed it really good i've already made my cheese sauce okay so there's my cheese sauce um and that consists of cheddar um some mozzarella cheese and a little bit of light cream not a lot it's just a little bit and mixed it in. I'm going to make a very small pan because I'm just making it for myself. Let's begin because I don't want this video to take too long. Oh my goodness, and special thanks to my sister and my niece who have really helped me with this video. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead, since my flour is about ready, I'm going to go ahead, and my oil is about ready. I'm going to go ahead and dip my cauliflower in my first mixture, which is my flax seed and a half a cup of water, um, two tablespoons of honey Dijon and two tablespoons of hot sauce. After I get it in there and my flour, remember my flour is already seasoned. Okay, I wanna make sure that it's coated completely here it goes, it's coated completely. I'm going to bring it over here to my hot grease and let it fry. Doing the same thing again. Bring it over to my flour. I also have a pack of um, Cezanne in my mixture because I want my chicken to have that nice brown look and a hot sauce will give it a nice brown look. Listen to me talk about my chicken. Hey, life is what you make it, right? Right? So either you, you try to make this healthy change and you'll complain about it the whole time or you'll find a way to fall in love with the journey because you got to fall in love with the journey if you don't Fall in love with the journey, you won't make the journey. Here we go. I'm going to do the same thing again. Dip it in my flour. Put my chicken because life is what you make it remember that'll be like my biggest thing I think my biggest saying for the cooking channel is going to be life is what you make it because people want to embrace the lifestyle change and I get it like I'm not a person who grew up eating this way I did not and I didn't even make these changes until like I say the past four or five years and I just fell in love with the process I fell in love with the journey and that's what I want to help you all do. So, with that being said, I can't wait for this to be done. And listen, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please, if you come by and you stop and you watch the video, hit subscribe because we got a lot of interesting things 
that we'll be doing. A lot of discussions, a lot of good recipes, health remedies. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Last year, I had um, was diagnosed with high blood pressure, and my blood pressure was extremely high. And I made up in my mind that I was only going to be on pills, only going to be on pills, until it got regulated. And it took me about maybe two months to get it regulated, and I have not been on pills since because there are so many different herbs. There's a certain way of eating. There's so many natural remedies that can help you with that. When I make my smoothies, you know, there's ingredients and you got to stay tuned for those smoothies because I've got smoothies that treat blood pressure, high blood pressure. I got smoothies that can treat inflammation. I got metabolism boosting smoothies. So many good things in store for you. All right, let's move along. So here's for the cauliflower. I've already um, boiled the cauliflower and I put all of my seasoning same seasoning I used for the chicken. I put it in the water because I wanted it to bake in good with the cauliflower. I just want to break this up a little more. And break it up to about the realistic size of um, macaroni and cheese. Here's my cheese sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that over that. And I need to make sure that I mix it in really well. Uh, this is like my, it's where I find such satisfaction and peace. It's something that I really love to do. Cooking is very relaxing. To me, mind stimulating at the same time. And I just make stuff up most of the time. It's very rare that I just get a recipe and go buy it. Okay, so now that I got that coated with my cheese, I left a little bit of Shredded cheese, and I do believe in shredding my own cheese um, for stuff because the moisture is different versus the cheese that's in the bag. So if you want something to come out nice and moist, then you, you're going to want to do this. All right. I'm going to put my pan in the oven. Mmm, mmm. Look at this chicken. It's frying away. Let me get ready to turn it. Ooh, you can see this crispy batter right here. Don't tell me I'm not eating chicken, honey. It's a mental thing. That's what I've learned. If you can get past the mental part of it, thinking that you have to have certain things, then this lifestyle, you'll welcome it and you'll be in for the ride. You'll be in for it. And I mean, like, honestly, I enjoy this cooking more so than I did, like, the actual macaroni and cheese. Well, I might be stretching it a little bit because my mac is my mac. But when I eat macaroni and cheese with the noodles, I can feel my energy level drop. And that's the part that I don't like. And so with that being said, I can eat this using the cauliflower and my energy level doesn't drop. So that really works out good for me. So, you know, um, and that's what I think about, like how it makes me feel afterwards. Not so much that I get the moments of satisfaction while I'm eating, but how does it make me feel afterwards? And I usually don't feel good the next morning. Granted, it's because my body has really got grown accustomed to eating a certain way. I'm getting it ready so I can get the grease, the extra grease from my fried chicken, right? I want to be able to get that 
off. So let's see what it's doing over here. It is looking good. It's looking good. Okay, try not to make this video like too long. You know, I got some editing to do, so um, bear with me. I'm new to the YouTube world, but it won't be long before I get it perfected. But in the meantime, we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy the moment. We're going to learn a lot. And we're going to become healthier. That's the main thing. That That's the most important thing. Yeah, I thought this would be great. Making a whole meal out of cauliflower. So what happened is I went to Sprouts and um, they had cauliflower there and it was on sale. So I bought two heads and I two big heads of cauliflower. And I said, you know what? You're going to put this to use. You're going to get creative with it. And so um, what did I do with the cauliflower? I made the um, cauliflower cheeseburgers the other day with one of the heads of it and my grandchildren they ate it they loved it and that's always good when you can introduce them to some new vegetables and now I'm making the um the fried chicken and the cauliflower macaroni and cheese and I've done that cauliflower macaroni and cheese before I actually did this before too and it's awesome so I'm really looking forward to it it's a little late I was kind of like trying to figure out how I was going to do the video but Anyway, 